Supporters of a father of three who died in custody are protesting in the centre of Birmingham this evening, six years on from his death. Kingsley Burrell's family want a public inquiry into how he died. This week, three police officers were cleared by a jury of lying at his inquest. Joanne Rittle reports. No justice! Six years since Kingsley Burrell died and his family and supporters protest, saying they're still no closer to knowing how he died in custody. This week, three police officers were cleared by a jury of lying at his inquest about whether they saw a cloth placed over his head to stop him spitting, but which may have obstructed his breathing. Now his family wants a public inquiry. From the beginning from when Kingsley died, we've been waiting for the investigation. We've been waiting for his body to be released for 18 months. We waited four years for the inquest. After the inquest, we waited an additional two years to actually hear what actually took place with Kingsley's death. Kingsley Burrell called police from here in Ladywood in 2011 saying he'd been threatened by men with guns. Police found no gunmen and described Kingsley as agitated. He was sectioned under the Mental Health Act and at this mental health unit, after prolonged restraint, had a cardiac arrest. He died from brain damage. The Burrell family need closure and today is to highlight the continued injustice of what happened to Kingsley Burrell and our quest for answers and justice for Kingsley. The charity inquest, which investigates deaths in custody, says more than 1,500 people have died in or following custody since 1990. The Institute of Race Relations says a third of these were from the black or ethnic minority communities. A criminologist at Birmingham City University said Kingsley's death had caused a strain in relationships. There are many um, provisions that are in place in order to better race relations, but it only takes one isolated case, like Kingsley's case, for um, race relations to come to turmoil. One police chief has offered to meet Kingsley's family. I think it's really important to say this happened so long ago, much has changed here. We take these matters incredibly seriously, both our relationship with Kingsley's family, but also with our communities who've been affected by this case. Kingsley's supporters say they'll fight on. Meanwhile, the officers cleared this week may yet face misconduct proceedings. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.